Hello friends and welcome back to my channel, Amy McGrew. It is April 1st. Happy April Fool's Day. I hope nobody gets tricked today. As I always say on the first day of the month, my mother says if you say the word rabbit three consecutive times, we're supposed to have good luck. So here we go. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Good luck for all of us. You are looking at the brand new, close to my heart, April through June idea book. It's 60 pages full of happy paper crafting things. So what I'm going to do is walk through this with you now. I do have some product that I'll actually show you. And I'm looking forward to sharing more product and projects and creating with you in the days and weeks and months ahead. So without further ado, let's get started. We open it up and of course there is a message from our founder and CEO, Jeanette Linton. She, when I grow up, I wanna be just like her. She is such an inspiration. This time last week I was in Utah. I had the opportunity to take part in a leadership conference at home office and Jeanette came and spoke with us last Saturday and such a remarkable woman and so grateful for her and bringing close to her, close to my heart to us all. On page one uh, is little info about becoming a maker and the VIP program. So if you love all things close to my heart and you would like to do what I do, um, you can reach out to me and ask me any questions. I always love adding to my team, would love to have you join my team. But um, if you want more information, you can let me know. And of course, we have the amazing VIP customer program. It truly is amazing. You get a 15% credit on every purchase you make. And then that credit, it's kind of like you earn CTMH, CTMH cash. You can redeem that credit for future orders on product. You will get the stamp of the month every month for free. That's a $20 value. You get it for free with a minimum $50 purchase. I don't even get the stamp of the month for free. Um, and then throughout the year, they have exclusive product and offers and events for just VIPs. So all the information is on my website. Um, but if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I do have an exclusive uh, Facebook group for just my VIP members and every day of the week is a different theme and I post and do videos and it's a whole lot of fun. The next two pages just talk, it's an overview about our Craft with Heart card subscription box and scrapbooking subscription boxes. So Craft with Heart is great for beginners as well as the seasoned paper crafter. I have been card making and scrapbooking for over 25 years and I love both the card and the scrapbooking subscription boxes because one, I can get things done quickly with very few product and no mess and little space, but they also lend themselves to uh, jazz them up by using things in your stash. So with the card making subscription box, you get your uh, stamp set, it's an exclusive stamp set just for that box. You get a block and an ink pad, and then you get your punch outs and your card bases. So it's a cut above kit. Um, so all you need to add to it is your favorite adhesive and a journaling pen and you are good to go. And then the scrapbooking subscription again is a, a cut above kit. So everything is stickers and punch outs. You get step-by-step -step instructions, very few steps to create these fabulous 12 by 12 pages. If you're new to my channel, you can look back at other videos um, and you can see I've actually put um, cards and scrapbook pages from both boxes together. And now we turn to page four, and this starts our first paper suite, our first collection in this idea book. And it's called Cosette. And it's kind of got a Parisian gardening uh, theme to it. And I am in love. Now, I have to be honest, I was in love when I saw it 
but then when I got it, I fell deeper in love with it. So like all our collections, you've got the pattern paper, you've got the coordinating cardstock, the die cuts, these are like paperboard, and I'm gonna show you these, I love these. You've got your Picture My Life pocket card, so this is great for pocket scrapbooking or if you do Project Life, but I like to use them actually to make cards, and I also like to use them for layering, um, both on my cards and on my layouts, and you've probably seen me do that in the past. And then, of course, we've got a digital art collection. This is SVG files, so Oh, you can use these with a Cricut, you can use it with a Silhouette, all those electronic machines, you can use this. Now, with this one, it comes with a full 12 by 12 two-page layout. I love all the flowers and the scallops and the titles. Now, remember, you can also break those apart and use them on other projects, and you can size them up or size them down. We've got this nice title here and the butterflies and the florals. I especially love the title. This is our story. I love how we could do the story in different colors. And and I really like the envelope. If you know me, you know how much I love envelopes and you can cut these envelopes on your die cut machine. I love how it has the scalloped uh, flap there. Of course, who doesn't love a good postage stamp? And then again, there is a fun card and you can use those elements on all different things. You can also change the colors of these. So, so many different ways to use our SVG files. Um, I'll go through this whole collection and then I'll show you the papers. So on the next page, we have our card making stamp and thin cut and then our scrapbooking stamp and thin cut. Now, don't let the title fool you. These can be used interchangeably. I plan to use this set with cards and scrapbook pages and this set with cards and scrapbook pages. I think this set is a gotta have just because one, love the postage stamp, love the butterfly. You can use these, they're core images and thin cuts that you can use on all, all different projects. And I love the, the, the titles, Tell Your Story, um, Cherish the Memories, Remember Our Love. I just love all of this. This is one that will probably sit in my container right by my desk and I can pull at all different times. And then this one is really cool because you get these two thin cuts. I actually have that set here and I will show it to you. Um, you do have the option of getting this with just the stamp set, or you can get it with the stamp and the thin cut, but you can't get just the thin cut. And I can tell you that usually the stamp and thin cut combos sell out really fast. So if you're thinking you want the thin cuts, it's, it's better to get them more sooner than later. But here is the set. And you can see all of these gorgeous flowers. I was never, I mean, I like flowers. My, my go-to flowers are sunflowers and daisies. But the older I get, the more I'm loving the, this just vintage florally type sets. And they're just really versatile. You can um, use them any season just by changing the colors. And of course, the, the sprig of leaves is uh, one you can use at all times. But this is the thin cut. So you can see you have thin cuts for all of the floral images. And then you've got your sentiments. I love that the sentiments are on arches. Um, lots of times I will bend my acrylic stamps so that they are on an arch. And that's the beauty of acrylic stamps, but it's done for you this time. But here is that arch, it's kind of like an arch window, if you will, and then the oval. Those I like to call neutral dyes because they go with everything. And I think it's, I, I'm just so excited that Close to My Heart has included that in this collection. So those two dyes will definitely be, um, on my table as core products. 
to use. Now, if you don't have a die cut machine, I'm giving you permission to invest in one. You will love it. I have the close to my heart one and it's phenomenal. It embosses and it die cuts beautifully. And if you're a VIP member, you can earn oodles of VIP points by purchasing that. So just keep putting that out there for you. Um, I think it's a great investment and I think all paper crafters should have them. Um, so then here is the scrapbooking workshop. So in the scrapbooking workshop, you can make two, uh, three two page layouts and I have the kit right here. Now I have started to buy the scrapbooking workshop kit, even if I plan to do my own thing because you get exclusive papers in this collection. Now, when you look in the book, um, it, it teaches you each scrapbooking workshop highlights a particular technique. And so they give a little box down here that says additional supplies needed. If you are wanting to do the, um, the added technique, which is always fun. So in this particular one, um, we'll start with the instructions. So you get the instructions really easy to follow how to cut your paper and then they give you a picture and then they give you preparation steps and then assembly steps so it is really foolproof anybody can do this you get the sticker sheet 12 by 12 sticker sheet i like to call our stickers designer stickers they are a thicker sticker and it's a matte finish, so it's very easy to journal on or to stamp on. I love this particular um, design of stickers. This, it actually looks 3D. It looks like an actual clipboard with the flowers there. What a cute little area to add some journaling or even another small little photo. Got postage stamps and nice big titles. And then some border stickers. Here are some kind of like uh, washes that you can add stamping or journaling to. Love the mug with the flowers. And I really like that vintage typewriter. And love this pattern here. And these are just little banner stickers. So super in love with this. I might have to get a second sheet. <laughs> And then we have our pattern paper. So of course our paper is two-sided. So this is one side. This is gonna be really fun. You can actually cut some of these um, icons out and add them to your projects. Um, the little clipboards and of course the stamps. Love the Eiffel Tower and the, um, the typewriter. And then the back side is just a, a botanical feel to it and of course you've got the fun zip strip got to make sure that on the camera um and the colors in this collection are listed on the back so that is one of the patterns i'm going to flip them like this because when you put them all together it's just really cool here is a fun tone on tone pine and then the back is a mulberry and then there is that black pattern that I love so much. So two of those, and then we've got this yellow floral and the back, I love this. And check out that zip strip. So when we put these all together, they really coordinate beautifully. So love that. And then here are the punch outs that you get for um, the scrapbooking workshop. And I love that they're all labeled on the back. I like to keep them intact until I go to use them. And then we've got this one. That scallop is gonna be fun and the brackets. And again, they're all labeled. And check out this one with all the tags. Oh, do I love a good tag. They're great for layering and clusters and for journaling. So they're all labeled. And then this is one of the exclusive papers. Now the exclusive papers are created to actually 
do the pages that are um, in the workshop. So they are white on the back. So we've got that one and you can kind of see the patterns there. And then I believe there's two of these and it's that mulberry color, but it's textured and kind of distressed. And I know the camera's not doing it justice. And then you've got your card shot cardstock sheet. So with this one, it's black and French vanilla with this collection. And then I always get the kit that has the 12 by 12 page protectors. I buy the page protectors in bulk, um, but I always get them with the workshop. But that's nice that close to my heart, you have the option to get the kit with or without the page protectors. So if you're wondering and you're curious about the close to my heart page protectors, that's a good way to get a sampling of them. They are super sturdy, very high quality. I can't say enough good things about them. Then you're also getting your place photo here marker. So if you don't have your photos yet, you can put those down. And then this is the die cut sheet. Now remember, you can buy all of these things a la carte too, but this is our paper board. So it's thicker than a die cut but it's not a die cut, so it's um, that paperboard. And I love the newsprint of this. Such a great vintage feel. If you turn it over, you can see all of the different shapes that come on this. And boy, my head is full of ideas on what to do with this. So that is the Cosette, um, scrapbooking kit and the stamp and the, the card making and scrapbooking stamp set. Now, if we keep moving right along, we have our card making kit. So this kit will create 16 cards, four of each of these designs. I fell in love with this for the, again, die cut, the exclusive Thin cut that comes with this collection as well as the stamped images. Um, I did create these cards but my I have lots of ideas on how to use this. So this is the set and I will show you. I love how our stamps come in these great um, envelopes. It's a great storage system and the thin cuts come on a magnetic sheet. So these are all the images you get in the thin cuts, everything that's highlighted in blue, and oh, the possibilities with this bow thin cut. And again, you gotta love the tag. So I did create these cards one night while we were watching TV. As a maker, you can purchase things a month early. So here are the cards, and I just love the postage stamp and the watermark the sentiments, and this particular uh, kit comes with the floral uh, paperboard images, so you can see right there. But isn't that tag just so cute with the bow? There's several different ways that you can do the bow. So here, we've got them on each angle, so it looks like a present. This one, it's going straight down. This one, it's going straight down and across. And then you've got this one that's just going across horizontal. But I have lots of ideas uh, using this thin, thin cut with other paper collections, even wrapping paper. So I had to have that. All right, now we've got our Hey Handsome. One, I love the name of this. And two, this is a fantastic fantastic more masculine collection but boy these papers you can use for so many things i love this layout with all of the little squares of the different pattern papers i'm totally going to make this layout um, but uh, with a camping photo so here we have the paper collection and the sticker sheet We've got our coordinating card stock. One thing that's really cool about Close to My Heart is you, in our core idea book, you can purchase packs of our card stock, 24 packs um, by color, but then we offer the coordinating card stock for all of our paper suites. 
but I'm not sure if you knew, if you're new to Close to My Heart, you can also do custom cardstock packs. So we have a 12 sheet custom pack and a 24 sheet custom pack, and you can choose your colors and how many you want in those packs. So that's a really cool option. So we've got our um, embellishments. I love these acrylic shapes. I have this, uh, collection so i'm going to show it to you there is an svg collection our digital art collection and check out this um this layout it's hey they're handsome and it's golfing my husband is a diehard golfer so i can see me making that again remember you can take all of those parts and pieces and and separate them and use them any way you want make them any size any color you've got the ties and all the tools my husband is also a woodworker so this this is going to be great for me we've got the fun glasses i have a fetish for glasses so that's fun and some different icons look at this card with the ties again if you wanted to use that on a scrapbook page you totally could um, so really fun images there we've got our picture my life cards i love that one with the glasses and then we turn the page and this is a nice silhouette it's called hey handsome this is the card making um, set and the scrapbooking again you can use them interchangeably but this is fun great for father's day you could have the dad holding the son's hand or the daughter's hands and i do like these sentiments the cards the artwork in this uh, particular book is really top notch i would recreate everything in this book so you've got your fun cards and then this one is really fun nice big sentiment sets that you could put on a card front or on a scrapbook page and anything that has a camera i have to have because i just love cameras and that's a a nice vintagey one this image right here is going to be great for um doing some layering on your project so you can stamp that make your own pattern paper it's going to be very versatile um, and then here is the scrapbooking workshop so again three two page 12 by 12 layouts and i have this kit right here and you know what in this kit there's acrylic shapes they're different than the acrylic shapes that you can buy a la carte and i didn't bring those over but i might have to go get them because they're really cool so here is the kit again you've got your instructions very easy to follow step by step on how to cut if you're going to do exactly what the um, kit shows you and then step by step assembly instructions great layouts you've got your place photo here markers and then here are the acrylic shapes that come with the scrapbooking kit. So they're all stars and arrows and buttons, but they are matte on one side and glossy on another. And you can see that these punch out. So you've got the outline of a star and then the solid star. Who does not love stars? Again, this is another, um, generic shape I like to call it because you can use these on so many different things um, so on the in the acrylic shapes that you can buy a la carte I'll show you those um, like I said I didn't bring them over here but let me see if I can point it out in the catalog and then I will come on when I use them in a project and highlight them but they're right here. So more stars and buttons, like the stars, the buttons, and the arrows are what you get in the kit. But then you've got the tie, the mustache, the top hat, the bow tie. I love the glasses. But if you can see here, it's kind of two-toned and this is texturized. So the sunglasses are texturized. Can, some, can anybody say Top Gun for that? Same with the tie, you can see those stripes. They're like a gray, a charcoal gray, and they're texturized. So very, very cool. So then let's 
look at this hey handsome i did use some of this paper already but um hopefully you get the idea so here is i love this this is paprika and I love just all the different words. I love that they're um, different fonts, but then it's also distressed. And then the back side, again, all these icons, which you could totally cut apart and use on a project um, in the Fun Star Zip Strip. So that's one of the patterns. Then we've got this nice plaid. This is the Harbor color. Harbor is one of my most favorite colors. It, it was new to us in 2021, and that was my favorite color out of all the new colors. My new color in 2022 was the Seabrook, and I actually love um, um, Harbor and Seabrook together. So we've got that pattern, and then the back is this pine on pine, and again is a, a great zip strip. So love how those coordinate. And then the last pattern, let's see if I have a full, I don't have a full sheet, but I can show you. You've got this great stripe. And I love that each of the stripes have a different pattern to it. And then the back is kind of like a burlap, a black burlap. And check out that zip strip. So we can go like that, and then I have another little piece of it, and go like that. So it, again, another fun collection of colors and patterns. So then, here is the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. Love the camera. We've got fun banners and tags, titles, Love those banners. Check out the glasses and the bike. And then some great just words. Love you so, so handsome. And these are individual. So you could get creative and spell whatever you want. Got uh, some faux washi tape and of course our word strips and our borders. So yeah, it's great for boys, um, but it's great for outdoorsy, hiking, camping, um, park, lake, so many different, different things you can do with this collection. And then I've got the punch outs here. Now, if you've ever bought any of our kits, you know that the punch outs come out very easily there some just pop out um, which is happening here but i'm trying to keep it all together so let me move oh I'll just go like this so here is some punch outs so again you got some titles some great uh neutral shapes some journaling strips and just like with Cosette, they're all labeled on the back. So what's cool about this one is you're going to use those circles for projects, but then the overlay sometimes is used. And then this is one of the core or the exclusive papers for this collection. So if you're gonna use it like it shows in the instructions, or you can cut these different strips apart. And then you've got two with that pattern. So great collection. Let me carefully put this back in. And of course you get your cardstock sheets as well. And the cardstock sheets are your Harbor and your, um, what color gray is that? Um, the Harbor and mink, you get harbor and mink and white card stocks with that. So that is the Hey Handsome. And I love the title of that. All right, so let's put that aside. And you saw those, I showed you those stamp sets. There are the scrapbook layouts. Then we have the card making. Um, collection and oh my goodness I had to have this check out the stamp sets great sentiments happy birthday dude I just really love you that you could use 
on anything. Okay, admit I admit it, you're a pretty cool dad and thanks for being you. Again, another one that you can use on anything and everything. You know, we always send cards for special occasions, but I like to surprise people and send cards, um, you know, just because. And how fun is that to walk to the mailbox and find something like that? So this set, um, oh my goodness, I love these thin cuts. Um, and I believe, I hope, I don't have the set here with me, but I do have, I did um, um, all the instructions. I did cut everything. So here are the instructions. So you can see that these are the die cuts. I had to have the pen die cut. And then the instructions are very easy to follow. I do plan on using these um, with other paper collections. I have some ideas to use um, with some more feminine paper. Um, but let me show you. Here is that glass thin cut and then the pocket, and I love the pocket, how it has the stitching on it. And then, so here's one I already stamped. And then you've got the fun um, little handkerchief that pops out, so it goes like this. Let me put one of these down. Such a fun set. So it goes like that in the pocket. You can stick the pen in the pocket. Um, the sunglasses or the glasses could go like that, kind of like on that card. So uh, this was a gotta have for me. I'm bummed I left the stamp set in the other room, but love it. And like all our other thin cuts, it comes on that magnetic sheet, which makes it very easy for storing. All right, our next collection is called Hello Darling. It's uh, red, white, and blue, so it could be patriotic, but it most definitely does not have to be. Um, some of these paper patterns, uh, it's going to go great. Um, two of my kids, their high school colors were red and blue, so I still have high school things that I can uh, scrapbook with this. But if we turn the page, We've got our pattern papers, our sticker sheet, coordinating card stock. The embellishments are really, really fun. You've got your uh, digital art collection. Again, we've got a two-page layout. We've got several cards, um, some titles, and we've got all these bursts, which, yeah, they could be like for um, fireworks, but again, a generic shape that you can use for layering on cards and or layouts. And then we've got our Picture of My Life cards. And the next page, um, we've got our card making and our scrapbooking sets. Remember, you can get these with the thin cuts or the stamp set alone. And the thin cuts is what always sells out really quickly. So this one's kind of fun because like I already mentioned, these, these can be for fireworks, celebration, but they're great generic shapes to just add clusters to. I like these two images. They remind me of those cray paper streamers and how you twist them to decorate for parties. That's what those remind me of. And of course, I love the sentiment. Some great artwork here. And then this is the scrapbooking one. Nice big titles and then smaller words. And these flowers, what I like about this is you stamp the solid image in whatever color you want, and then the detailed image, you just stamp right over it. That gives it really nice texture, really makes it feel like you can pick it off of the page. Um, so I love those types of sets. And this is, has nothing to do with 4th of July. And then here is the scrapbooking workshop. Again, three two-page layouts. I have not gotten my, my um, workshop kit is on order. I believe it's arriving on um, Tuesday. But you do get some exclusive papers in this, which I love, and it's um, this paper right here. So it's 
tiny multiple um, colored flowers, which I love. I do have the paper collection here. So I will show you that. And I like the style of the sticker sheet. Again, it's, um, it almost looks like it's almost painted, like a watercolory look. But some fun little titles um, and banners, bows, the lanterns. I love how the lanterns have those stars on them. Gingham hearts flowers and leaves and I like that the leaves are separate so you can make your own little cluster of, of flowers. We've got the party banners, um, some words. I love the words um, and then you've got your your border stickers. And so then here are the papers. So we've got this stripe. So if you have uh, Fourth of July photos or Memorial Day photos, uh, you could totally use this collection for that, but it can also go for a lot of other things as well. Here is just um, a bunch of stars, and I like that zip strip. And then the back, I love this plaid, love plaid. And then the last one is all of those bursts, and check out that zip strip and the back side are those pretty flowers. So real fun collection there as well. Now the um, embellishments for Hello Darling are really fun. Um, let me point those out to you in the idea book. And you get some of them in the collection. Um, but they're paperboard and acrylic. So the sapphire images, those are all paperboard. And then the red are acrylic shapes. And just all kinds of pretty flowers and bursts and banners and bows. And it's just going to be a lot of fun. Super fun. I just get so excited. I, I love to document my photos and my stories. And I love stamps. And I love creating. And it's just, it just makes me happy. <laughs> All right. Now here is the Hello Darling card making kit. Had to have this because check out all of those stars. Again, a uh, neutral shape. So here is this collection. So you can see the stars. And then you've got some fun little sentiments. I love the pattern star. So there's a solid, there's a plaid, and this is little stars in the star. And then these are thin cuts. So here are the two different size thin cuts with the banner. And then when you stamp this, you can have dots around the perimeter and then dotted stitch lines around the perimeter. Love, love, love. Um, of course, you get your um, card bases and envelopes. You get to make 16 cards for each of four different designs. The embellishment they're using are the, um, the um, sparkles. And then you have your instructions. And then the step-by-step -step assembly. And then the paper. So you're going to get your all your card stocks, which is sapphire, toffee, candy apple red and white daisy and then the two pattern papers are the stripe and the stars and again this is another set that you can pair it with everything anything and everything and you will be good so just really really excited about this collection all right, and then our last paper suite is our mix-ins. Do you not love this page? 
I am definitely going to have to recreate this page. And this page could be for a masculine or feminine. It could be a scenery shot. So many options. But I do have the Mixon's collection here. So the Mixon's collection is created to go with the three featured collections. So this collection is featured to go with Cosette, with Hey Handsome, and Hey Darling. So here is the first pattern. And it's like that burlap with a fun zip strip. And then the back, ooh, is that not beautiful? It's kind of like a whitewashed wood grain. And then we've got this one, which is kind of like a water wash of paprika and little stars. And check out that, how beautiful. This I could see being paired with Cosette. And then we've got this one, gorgeous. And the back side. And this is kind of like a, 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 a wash of pine. And then look at this pine with the words. Gorgeous. And then the zip strip is a stripe. And the back is just a simple charcoal plaid. And then we've got this charcoal with that fun geometric zip strip and then that plaid and last but certainly not least this is kind of like a stone almost like a countertop looking and I love love that again another one of those newspaper print in the mink so just a stunning collection and oh so versatile and see how nice all those paper collections go together. Fabulous. This is a great page, for a scrapbook page to create with all of your scraps. And the theme could be for anything. All right, so now let's move on to our stamps. I love this page. It's kind of like the paper candy page. Gives you a little uh, sneak peek of what's to come in the the following pages and um i just love i love to recreate a lot of these things for embellishments on pages and or cards so our first collection is called best bonus stamp set and i love this there's not a whole lot of things out there for adoption and stepmom and stepdad and this set is it um Parenthood is all about love. You are so much more than just a parent to me. You made the amazing choice to love me even though you didn't have to. Not by blood, but by choice. We are not step. We are not half. We are family. I just love it. Love it. Love it. Then on this page is four different sets. These are a size stamps. Um, a different uh, a definition for a mother and a dad. And then this one is just all the different uh, grandmother and grandfather um, names. And I love it because they have pop pop and that's what I called my grandfather, but they don't have grampy and they don't have Grammy. And that's what my kids call my parents, but they have grandparents and Nana, Mima, uh, grandma, grams, Pappy, Pops, Gramps, um, so that's really neat. And then we have one, My Kids Are Cute and They Have Paws. So there literally is something for everybody. And again, the artwork is just awesome. It's awesome and it's um, uh, replicable. You can very easily recreate them. All right, all my kitten, cat, and dog, puppy lovers, this set, of course, it does come with thin cuts. If, if images are highlighted, that means there are thin cuts to come with it. You can get the stamp sets with the thin cuts or without. So make sure you have the right, um, you click on the right item when you're placing your order. And then the turtles, how cute. This one I've got to get. Living in the South, we definitely need this. But this one is just fun. Bunch of cute little turtles. We've got the sea turtles and the land turtles. But fun sentiments. So let's celebrate 
happy birthday late but worth the wait with the the turtle with the presents that tends to be me sometimes i have all these cards but sometimes i'm late at getting them out um enjoy your day you turtley rock you're turtley awesome you turn my world upside down um, and fun artwork i love how they did the shading with the blending brushes love the color combinations of these cards but again you can use make them any colors you want and then we've got this great page with all of this artwork that was created with all of these pages. So the bear is super cute. I did get the bear and he is a really nice size. So this is the thin cut. And I love that he's fuzzy. So, and it's a nice size. So great for scrapbooking pages or cards. And then just great sentiment. So sending a big bear hug, that could be for anything. Um, you're very special, feel better soon. Love you, miss you, thank you very much. Um, so that's gonna be fun. And I love the card right here that they created um, in the idea book. This set is really fun. Um, you've got the hot air balloon and then you could put either the animals or the presents or the flowers inside the balloon and what fun to color love the cloud background behind this everybody should have a cloud background um, stencil or thin cut in their stash because they're just so versatile and here's another one so this one they use the animals in the hot air balloon this one it's the flowers have any have any of you been on a hot air balloon ride that is on my bucket list i would love to do that but again love the simple shading uh, probably done with a blending brush and some ink and then stamping the little star that comes in the set and then adding some um acrylic dots to that very fun and then you've got your two m size stamp sets real simple cards there all right turn the page um i actually recreated this page um i i was a i saw that and i used it as a jumping off um idea for um a, a extended story that i'm working on from the trip my husband and i took last a month to Montana but love this set it's called brood for you stamp set I did get that one um, did I bring it over yes I did so I love it um, because you have that solid image so you can stamp that in the glass so you don't have to color it so you can see here the root, root beer floats and again, just some fun sentiments. Um, and the happy is three, four individual letters. I love how you have the cherry and the straws. So fun set. This is another one that I had to have right away. And I have been having a ton of fun with this one. So if you have a die cut machine, you definitely want to get the thin cut. Um, if you don't have a die cut machine, I'm telling you, you need to get a die cut machine. So the thin cut is of the hat, but what I love, one, check out the stitching on the hat. Um, but then you can take all of these little things and put them on the front of the hat. So you could put all star, you could put number one dad, number one mom, you could put adventure with the, um, the mountains. And you can see here a great baseball layout but then here is just a gorgeous picture of a girl and how they documented that so love 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 i was actually uh, working on a project for um, a customized project and i i did the hats on some um shopping bags from a boutique that i'm making cards for so you can two-tone the hats and make um, the top one pattern and then the visor another pattern so really fun um, again one that you can use all year round I mean moms wear many hats um, so it could be for sports but so much more than sports as well um, 
I could see it as a birth announcement um, to announce the birth of a baby too. So, so many, or a Mr. and Mrs., lots of different options. Then this set, Always Near, this is a great sentiment set. It does kind of have a sympathy feel for it, but my favorite sentiment is sometimes there are no words. I got this set for that sentiment and for this squiggly oval. We have that, I have that in a circle, but not an oval, and I had to have that, and I do like that um, sun and these corners are great but love that lots of times we try to say the right right words when um when um you know we're going through hard times and sometimes we say something that upsets the person even more so sometimes there are no words how cute are these band-aids oh it's going to be so much fun to make get well cards with this or if somebody has an injury it's going to be fun on scrapbook pages. Ouch, that sounds like it hurt. Um, I think these are going to be good. I have some pictures of my daughter dancing with her toes. I don't know, ballerinas are really pretty, but their toes are really ugly. Um, and I even have some pictures of my son in drum corps and his hands all bloody from playing the marimba so much. So it doesn't have to just be get well in surgery. It could be for other things as well. And love the little smiley and the frown faces. Again, you can use those for so many different things. All right, this was another one I had to have. I'm all about the alphabets, but these are numbers and they're supposed to mimic balloons. So here is the set. You get thin cuts for everything that is in blue and you get all the different types of balloon strings. You even get that little piece where you tie the balloon um, and then some fun little like fluff images. But these, set, these numbers are nice and big. I'm really excited to play with these. These are great for birthdays, for uh, dates, um, years, so many different ways that you can use these. Had to have that. Um, love the graduation collection. I wish they had this when my kids were graduating. However, I have not scrapbooked everything, so I will be able to use this. The hat, these pieces are thin cut, so have to have this just for those. And you can see the card here. I remember trying to make my own graduation hat when my kids were graduating. So I will definitely be getting this. And of course, you did it. Class of, hey, cool hat, congratulations, congrats grad to the graduate, the future is bright. So some of these you can use, you know, they're versatile. It doesn't have to be just for graduation. And of course, the little fun images are very versatile as well. So great cards and um, scrapbook pages here. And I love that color combination. All right, I just ordered this. Again, I am really becoming a flower girl. This is cool because it does come with a thin cut if you want, or you can get it just with, without the thin cut. But this, you know, if you don't like the color, you if you don't like coloring, you may be like, oh, I'm not getting that. But check out the artwork where they just added swashes of color. So you do not have to color it at all. Even just black and white would be beautiful with some um, pops of color of paper beautiful and quick and easy um, and then this one is really neat it's called the leafy background so these could get paired together like you see on this one just stunning here they use this leafy background and they just did tone on tone stamping um, this is one set alone be who you are do what you love go where your heart leads you um, and then, then with the leafy background you get these fun sentiments so really again core stamps that you could use any time for any occasion all right then we have some um sentiment sets we've got four different sentiment sets um, and what's neat about this is you have the big hugs and then you have the smaller letters so you could say hugs and kisses sending many hugs lots of hugs big hugs um, hugs from me to you. This one is 
oh, happy anniversary mail day, you make me. So you could do, you make me happy, mail day, happy mail, happy anniversary. Um, you know, the and these, all of these sets could be on the front of cards or on the insides of cards. So again, you've got the big wishing and then all the smaller sentiments that you can add to that and then the hello. Look at this beautiful bride. And that's exactly what this stamp set is called, the beautiful bride stamp. You can get it with or without the thin cuts. I don't have any weddings coming up, but I had to get this one so that when I do have weddings, I will have it. This bride, she is big and she is beautiful. And check out the thin cut. So you've got the thin cut for the bride and then you've got the thin cut for the hat of uh, the, the cake the shoes the rings and the flowers and so i was working on some custom things so check that out so i'll paper cut those so really excited about this one and the artwork that they um provided in this you know is very simple you just uh stamp her on white paper and cut her out but you can um, use, uh, like that's what they did on this layout and then they just sponged around her and then they added stickles on the detail of the dress. But on that opening page, um, on this one, you can see that they added uh, stickles on the veil. So there are lots of different ways to use that and just, just gorgeous. So I'm excited to have that. All right, then if you're into heritage, these are the sets for you. This one is a gotta have just because of the different titles and the fonts, memories made here. Again, love that vintage camera, blessed family, the splitting image, digging up our roots. You've, I love the clock and the frame. And this image here is one that you can use for borders and just little accents. And again, great border stamp set there. And the artwork here is stunning. Just love it. So that is another core stamp set. All right, gotta warn you on this page. This right here is called the Butterfly Slimline Embossing Folder. I do think that this is going to sell out very quickly because these types of things are very popular. So it is a slim line. Here is the embossing folder. And then here is the stencil. And can you see the detail on these butterflies? So this is so popular because you run your paper through the embossing folder and then you can line up your stencil and add color super quickly and it looks like you spent a lot of time on it. These always sell out quickly. So if this is on your list, don't delay. Um, and what's nice about the slimline, you can use this on scrapbook pages too or on any size cards. Um, I love how Close to My Heart makes their embossing folders so that there is a slit there. So you can slide your paper up through it and just continue the design. I have demonstrated that in the past and I will probably demonstrate that again. I don't know if I showed you, but there are two stencils here. So this is the stencil that's just the solid butterfly. So you would stencil that. And then this is the one with all the details. So you have lots of different options on how to add color to those butterflies. Love, love, love. Isn't this publication amazing? Um, so then these are two slimline sentiments that you can use one like on the slimline card that's horizontal and this one vertical. So that is always fun. And then we come to our stamp of the month. So for uh, April, we have sweet treats. For May, we have the little stinkers. 
And then for June, we have the Botanical Shadows. I will feature the June and the May during those months. But for the month of April, this is the set. And again, I love it. Um, here is the set right here. You can see I've been using it quite a bit. I love the just a note. I've been using that stamp on all kinds of things. But I do um, have a, I do a thing with the stamp of the month. I cre create five pre-cut stamp of the month kits and I send them for free to the first five people who place their qualifying order on my website. So if you are a VIP member and you place a $50 order, and add the stamp of the month to your order, you get it for free as in the VIP program. So it really behooves you to be a VIP customer in the VIP membership. If you're not a VIP member and you place a minimum $50 order, you can get this stamp set for just $5. It is a $20 value stamp set. So it is a great deal. Here, my stamp of the month kit for this month is five cards. One, two, three, yeah, five cards. So here is the first one and it features some dry embossing. So your kit, I do all the, the, the cutting for you. I, your kit will come with card bases, envelopes, and your paper pieces. I will emboss that for you. Your job is to stamp the images and color and do your stamping. So I will list the color markers that I use for my cards and the um, ink pads that I use. But that is the first card. Here is the second card. Here is the third card. The fourth card. And here is the fifth card. I love the little music notes in this set. I also love the little... Um, bird the little feet and I did on the inside stamp on some of them um, and those who qualify you will be invited to a private Facebook group um, where I will assemble all of the cards on video so you will know how to color and how I sponged and whatnot. But the color markers that I used for these cards are right here. And then I use the mist ink to stamp that and to sponge there. I use my mist ink with a blending brush and then I use black ink. But I will list all that when I post um, this on my Instagram and my Facebook groups. So that is the April, May, June idea book in a nutshell. You can get this publication for free when you place an order on my website. Just make sure you add, you add down at the bottom, you, you just click the circle that says add to cart. Close to my heart will send you a free copy of this. If you don't have the core idea book yet, they will send you a free copy of that as well. But you can also view all of this on my website, um, amy.closetomyheart.com. Click on the more tab and scroll down to catalog. All right, I'm looking forward to sharing more, going more in depth with you in the coming days, weeks, and months with all the goodness in this publication. If you liked this video and could give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, that helps me quite a bit. And um, I'll catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.